Thank you for tuning in to TalkWad.com, the world's fastest growing internet radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com. What was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was another fine show from rockslamradio.com. Yeah.
he's all chill now. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to uh, Lester's Tour Bus Show. Uh, uh, I think. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It's been a lot of changes lately. Strange things are afoot. Yeah. Uh, as it work. Uh, unfortunately, Brandon, if you're listening to the show, Brandon will not be our engineer anymore. He's going to be sorely missed. They've uh, There's been a hostile corporate takeover, and uh, they've sort of cleaned that. <laughs> we sort of uh, uh, cleaned house, I guess, and there's an entire restructuring of uh, how we're going to do things around here, and I guess we're going to figure that out. I uh, don't believe it's going to affect the show in any way. So oh, yeah, for well. our loyal listeners, we're... We did have a black man that liked us for a week, and now... Uh, yeah, we just got cool because we had our first black fan, and now... Now I'm going to have to wear a vest on the way out of here. Now we have to wear a vest on the way out of here. Uh, Brandon, if you're listening, though, much love. Much love. We're going to miss you. We'll so. be on the grid, regardless. Assuming you still be on the grid. Oh, man. Hold on. Now, who are we, who are we now, Nolan? IBO? MyBO? MyBO? We are IBO Global, but we're really just the Internet Broadcasting Organization. We're a nonprofit organization that allows uh, nonprofits to u- utilize our studios for free. The so, IBO. Oh, so we're nonprofit now. That means nobody profits. We do it for free. I understand. There's a lot of volunteers. There's a lot of people working. We we get involved with the community a lot. We're, um, we're, we put... Uh, we give hands-on training to college students that are interested in the broadcasting field, Jesus. things like that. So we were we were we went from being a corporate animal, rolling over everything in our site, Downside. crushing it into a fine powder, and conter- converting it into a profit. Into a, we've been reduced to a fine pink mist. A fine pink mist. <laughs> so now that quick, we're all holding hands and singing kumbaya, kumbaya. around here. <laughs> I'm, so, turning, I'm turning the reins over to your new intern, Jonathan. Wow. Hey, awesome. and there he is. Uh, yeah, we need to introduce Jonathan. Uh, I don't know if he can. Can you show him how to turn on the mic yet? There you go. Hello. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Well, hello, Jonathan. Now, Jonathan and I actually uh, met at the Queensryche Seven Kingdom show in which Todd Latour right here from the Tampa Bay area was uh, is singing for Queensryche now. And would you say that he uh, did an incredible job there, uh, John? Are yes, still there? amazing job. Mm-hmm. Amazing job. In fact, I would say, and, and a lot of people have, I've pissed off a lot of people, but I think it's pretty much a fact at this point that Todd Latour is better at Jeff Tate in his prime. Now listen to what I'm saying here. Jeff Tate is a superior vocalist, obvious, everybody knows it, but he is better at Jeff Tate in his prime than Jeff Tate now is at Jeff Tate in his prime. Because uh, he can just... Todd's got a hell of a set of pipes on him. Boy, he, he he was very, very impressive, and it was a great show, and I got to uh, meet him after the show. I actually got to meet the uh, the band after the show. Thank you very much to David Van Landing, who's uh, doing the, uh, David, you uh, the Hellraiser's Ball on Tuesdays from 1030 to 1230. Uh, uh, but Van Landing, just a real class act guy, nice guy. He's a uh, singer from uh, Mannequin. Um, Crimson Glory. Uh, Crimson Glory. MSG. Uh, and MSG, and... Uh, is there a tie between uh, who who was it that uh, Todd Latour was singing for before he? Um, I'm not sure. He was. He's. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not up on that one. Him and Wade. Oh, Wade Black. Well, but Wade uh, sang for Crimson Glory. Sang for Leather Wolf. Uh, did some work with Anthrax, King Diamond. Uh, he has War of Thrones now, which is rocking out. War uh, of Thrones. That War of Thrones. That okay, yeah, to- yeah. That's didn't right. Todd Latour yeah. come from? I believe so. Towns? I yeah, believe okay. he did. But um, uh, so it's all incestuous. It's yeah. all connected. And Wade, we thank w- w- Wade for uh, calling the show, and we wish him luck at uh, Rocklahoma Fest, Rocklahoma in Connecticut. That's correct. All right, the hey. joke's tired, but hey, <laughs> Wade, if you get a chance, call us back. Thanks, Wade. Yeah. Uh, I want to take a quick second to thank Do it. my dear master of uh, monster metal next to me. Threw me one of the best birthday prior parties I ever had in my life uh, with green jello. Uh, everybody at the Brass Mug. Um, and thank you so much for the, uh, for the introduction of the uh, Iron Bear, the 250 likes video. Awesome. <laughs> Which awesome. we'll, we'll show that again before the end of the and, show. And, uh, you know, you've, you've gone a, above and beyond the call of duty as always, sir. Well, you're welcome. Uh, and you certainly deserve it. Now, wasn't it amazing that night at uh, the Brass Mug? It was like it really was like none other. It was almost like a family. It it's was. Like everybody that was there. It wasn't a disconnected, disjointed set of, you know, groups of people. 
like everybody got into the exact same mode oh. of partying and and uh you know everybody was invited on the stage for were. my birthday song happy yeah, birthday but, fuck you bill, bill manspeaker the uh the founder and the singer of uh of green jelly what a fantastic Class accommodating act. human being very oh. approachable guy and uh we got to hang out with him and, and talk to him. And, of course, I let him know that it was Barry's birthday, and he just made the biggest fuss about oh that. Oh, my. So. Oh, my. Wait yeah. till you see the video, guys. And you can see all the, the pictures are uh, posted up on Facebook, Lester's Tour Bus. Uh, an incredible night for me. I got to hang out with my godson, Neil, from the Scurvy. Yep. We got to meet those guys, Mosquito Teeth. Uh, Mosquito. It was a, just an incredible night. Abortion Twins. Yep. Um, a gr- good, you know, uh, a lot Florida of Florida bands, bands except yep. for Green Jello, which uh, Green Green Jello-y, I like to call them now. <laughs> except for uh, two thirds of Green Jello is also Florida. Well, musicians. yeah, you're correct. Yeah. You're correct, sir. You are a a wealth of knowledge, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, a legend before. Well, what what you're what, a legend in your own mind. That's right. What a, a man speaker does, and what an interesting concept this is. Uh, and I talked to him about it. Is that um, he, instead of he he used to set up a band and he would go touring the country with the band and and him he's just a laid back let's just all have fun and hang out he said and what would happen inevitably is no matter who he brought with them is you know they'd go out there and they would do some big crowds and the crowd would create a fuss and they'd start getting that rock star attitude and it was something he had to deal with and babysit and all that and he just didn't want to do it because all he wants to do is go out and have fun what a great attitude so what he recognizes that every town that he went to he uh uh, bands would have come up to him and be like, man, you know, you're great, blah, blah, blah. We know this song, that song, that song. So what he does, and I think this is genius, is <clears throat> every town he goes to, he finds a local band that knows Green Jelly songs. He sends them a song list and tells them to know the songs by the time he gets into town. So he's doing a national tour right now, just him in his... You know, nice RVs, got a very beautiful wife, another very nice... Full of styrofoam heads. Yeah, packs, packs <laughs> of styrofoam heads in the trailer, uh, and it's just them. So they drive around the country, and then every city they go to, uh, they have... Like, the band that he's with now, they're from this area, but they did pretty much all the Central Florida dates, uh, which was here and like Orlando, and I think they're in... They're in Satellite Beach right now over there in Brevard County, and they're doing all of those dates. But, like, when he goes to, say, whatever, Virginia or something else, there'll be another band waiting for him. And if you're not familiar with them, it's, Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And uh, yes, exactly. And obey the cow. And of course, it starts oh. off with the cow and it's God. I'm not worthy. His godlike presence. And if you get a chance to see the show, the show is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And and that also was sort of a testament to Rick out there at the Brass Mug because the stage did not collapse. <laughs> and and as uh, hundreds you know, of people on the stage. My day life is an engineer, and uh, that was the first thing that I was thinking about is once he put so many, you know, people on the stage. You know, your average. Person 150, I mean, you had, you know, 12, 13 people, you've got a ton. Yeah. And there was a lot more people than that on the stage. So. Yeah, they tried, Green Jello tried to put me on a bar stool, and my head would have went through the roof. So, But several people's head did go through the roof, so actually I, didn't, I felt bad afterwards. Yeah. I would have gladly sacrificed a ceiling. Tonight. Oh, that's not the first time I've seen that. No. Because the singers, they like to jump up on the rail there, and they stick their head through the acoustic. And I, I, kudos to you, sir, for doing the show in your boxers, and Mosquito Teeth for doing them in diapers. In adult and diapers. The, and the nun above none other. The, who was an escapee of a or, uh, another nonprofit that I know you donate time for, which is, uh, uh, what is that? With the Gray Bar Hotel? No, 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 the uh, the wayward girls. Oh, oh, uh, of uh, yeah, that's right. Sister Mary's School for Wayward Girls. Right, and uh, the uh, the bass player for Green Jello was familiar with that organization as she was a uh, refugee. Gee, that's right. That's right. Who escaped from the? That's right. Anyways. I hope we can keep on to our new head office girl, uh, Kathy Olick. Uh, Kathy Olick. Yeah. Now she with the corporate the cutbacks show. going yeah. on here, uh, she's got her page posted up now and. We're going to try to hold on tight, Kathy, so. Yeah. Uh, Got to have a head office, girl. <laughs> you see what I have She's to do? She's the none of fun. Day. All right. Here we go. And it ain't because she don't give you none. <laughs> I'm going to play this video, and then we're going to talk about this band. Here we go. This is 16 Second Star. Yeah. Tour to be announced.
Storm clouds come rolling in, bring in the rain again. All I can do is pray. I don't need no rain today. Testies, one, two. Testies. Yep, they're both That's there. Yeah. They are both there. Yes. Now, that 16-second stare now, unfortunately. Old wallet and watch. Are we on? We are on. Okay. We're back! That's right. John did a good job. No, oh, is that the video run again? You son of a... Why? I got a... I played that guitar recently. Oh. See, we could have done like and a pop-up video back. thing. We could have talked about... Yep. You know, Tim's sweet ass... Ooh, Since we're focusing on it on the camera, oh, that's right. Now the uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, Lester's tour bus, the fastest growing, strongest presence on Rock Slam Radio and Green Gnome being da- be damned. The uh, um, everything's changing. The network is folded underneath. Brandon's us. gone. We're the only strong pillar left in the insane world. So, uh, bitch Stewie, he he liquidated. He was gone. <sighs> Brandon's gone due to a hostile takeover. Um, and now Barry, the band that you just saw, uh, I actually got introduced uh, to Barry uh, through, I met both of them. At the Brass Mug? At the, sorry, at the Brass Mug when he was uh, with the guitarist for 16 seconds. I know, when you say that, you almost, yeah, just, uh, I know, it was that kind of night. Yeah, well, it was that kind of night. <laughs> But uh, he's the tour manager for 16 Second Stare, and unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, uh, they have a huge uh, concert series coming up, an international concert series, and he is also going to be leaving us. Yes, but I'm going to be doing uh, remotes from the tour bus, for the tour bus, uh, a little bit of show, a little bit of debauchery, what's going on on the road, uh, from whatever country, whatever venue we're at. Uh, it won't be the same without it, you. Well, it will. No, yes, it will. no. I'm going to get a bottle of whiskey. I'm going to mm. sit in this corner, 
and people are just going to watch me drink for two hours. I might cry like a little bitch. They're gonna. That's right. They're going to watch me drink for two hours, stuff they probably won't watch. And, and if you want to call in at any time, I mean, it's just going to be two hours of dead air watching me get drunk in the corner here. So it's not going to be the same without you. Well, just to let everybody know, also, we're going to be, it looks like April 5th. It was April, excuse me, April 6th. It was April 5th at the Brass Mug. Uh, we're going to confirm that tonight. Uh, 16 Seconds Steer is going to do a, a hometown show. Uh, just uh, like a, a dress rehearsal for our, our Tampa Bay fans and, and family and uh, to get ready for the tour. And uh, then we're going to go straight into closed rehearsals uh, for several weeks. And then the tour is going to launch out of Camp Lejeune uh, around May 3rd, between May 3rd and May 5th. Uh, and then we're in deliberation still with the, the itinerary for, a, uh, for Hard Rock uh, Cafes. And uh, everything looks real good. Uh, the band's gaining momentum. Uh, Tim just today released uh, the 16 Second Stare album, uh, Beautiful Disaster, I believe it is, but remastered, remixed, and with our new lead vocalist, Ray Ray, uh, it's in Spanish. And it's being released in Colombia, uh, being broke in Panama, Venezuela, Costa Rica, uh, most of uh, uh, Brazil, most of South America. Uh, the market's exploding down there. Uh, it was, you know, it was more towards the hip hop things for a long time. Well, there's been a big swing in Latin America towards uh, hard rock and roll, and we salute you, all of our uh, all of our listeners down there. We do have fans down there. Uh, our numbers are blowing up in South America, and uh, we appreciate the uh, you, you turning into Lester's tour bus. And I'll keep you posted on the 16 seconds tour. 16 seconds there. Tour, thank you. That was a mouthful. The 16 second store. 16 second store. I feel like I'm in a 16 second store the way things are crumbling around. Now, was there ever a time in South America that hard rock wasn't popular? And these are just people that are well, way ahead of I, their time. Well, I, I, I don't know if the market was there back then. You know, their, their economy is, uh, is actually coming up while ours is going down. It happens. Well, I have certain opinions about I that. I know you do. We'll, we'll keep those to ourselves. Everybody says, oh, everybody's economy is going up and America's going down. Remember, all of these global economies, the, the, we are the trough by which they feed. Uh, if we go down, the world goes down. Well, so. if you listen to Kathy, she says everybody's going down. Yeah, well, that's probably right. <laughs> uh, Kathy is wise beyond her years. Jeez. Anyways, now that we've depressed everybody, see you, son of a oh, bitch. I hate myself. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, 16 Second Stare. This is, uh, uh, this is a local band. Um, I don't know. Right out of Lutz, surprisingly. I mean, this is a band that's toured with uh, Motley Crue, Godsmack, Ace Freely. They've done uh, global tours. They were the, what was it, the number one unsigned requested band on Reverb Nation? On Reverb Nation, Nation or... and, and uh, number one and two songs on uh, Armed Forces Radio. Which was there, uh, the, oh yeah, over the Christmas season, mm -hmm. uh, they had the done Grinch. a remake of The Grinch, and that was the uh, uh, the number one song on, what was it, the Military yeah, on uh, Armed Forces Network. Armed Forces Network, which got him uh, connected with the right. USO. Yeah, that's right. And we're doing. And now a he's USO a volunteer tour. for the USO, so they're doing. Uh, this is actually a USO tour. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the USO tour is in conjunction. Uh, is going to be shows in between uh, uh, our regular tour. Um, uh, turn we'll, off your damn phone. <laughs> turn off my damn. I will you turn off my phone now. I have had an important call here, but anyway, uh, everybody can check out. We're going to release in the tour dates at that's at on Facebook at 16 Second Stare, uh, or you can go to 16 Second Stare dot com. Uh, there's lots of videos up on YouTube. Just put in 16 Second Stare, like The Grinch. Bonnie and Clyde, uh, uh, Hellraiser is a good one. Uh, check it out, and we appreciate the likes. And, uh, of course, uh, Lester's Tour Bus supports uh, 16 Seconds Steer, local band, homegrown. Absolutely. Tim and Lester are very good friends. Mm -hmm. We have had some listeners call up and complain about us playing the song, and we just told the guy, hey, the, uh, the composer of that song requested it. Uh, so, Oh, what he's talking about is... Uh, <laughs> The the Hell, Hellraiser song uh, by Sixty Second Stare is the theme song for Hellraiser's Ball, and uh, of course us and Hellraiser's Ball are very good friends. Well, Hell, one of <laughs> Hellraiser's Ball's fans got hostile, uh, which of course hostile. I didn't I didn't know that it was the Hellraiser's Ball song, but the uh, the Sixty Second Stare called and they said, "Hey, play Hellraiser over the air," and I was like, "Okay," so I played it over the air, and then the the Hellraiser's Ball people, I mean, they are. 
uh, you know, uh, JC Viper, he has got some loyal fans out there because they they were ready to kick my cracker ass out in the parking lot. Uh, they yeah. were not amused by my antics. I don't know if I'll play that again, but. Oh, let's see. You know, if you if you get an opportunity to go to the uh, to the Brass Mug show, it's probably the closest you will be able to get to them. Uh, these are these are some major musicians, um, uh, and of course, I think they do have some other Florida dates, but it'll be much more expensive, and you'll be a lot further from the stage than at the Brass Mug. But who's who's the lineup for the uh, Sixty Seconds Stair Tour? Well, as of right now, we got Ray Ray, who's uh, out of New York City. He's done a, a bunch of a major projects, but uh, this is probably going to be his biggest. Uh, they've got uh, Ingve Malmsteen's uh, keyboard player supposedly is coming down to, for the. Uh, for the rehearsals uh, and just going to be booking the tour. We have M Miguel Gonzalez, who uh, works very closely, a great bass player, works with uh, Brian Howe and Bad Company uh, on a daily basis. Um, we've... Uh, we have got uh, just a, a whole. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna re release it on the web. I don't want to give anything away right now, but there's some very substantial musicians gonna be in the band, and uh, I'm I'm really excited to be representing these guys on the tour. Yep, very good. And uh, you know Barry here, he's a season season tour manager uh, as far as uh, yeah. dealing with venues and dealing with bands and all that sort of thing. Garlic so, and onion. That's right. So they're gonna be in great hands. <laughs> Uh, this is 16 Seconds Tear the Grinch.
You know, one hostile takeover and his his uh, lackluster. No, now, the it's reason, because I already we know the reason. Molested so. by the Mojo Guru. We were I'm molested sorry. by the Mojo Guru. <laughs> I if, was. If you saw our show I'm... a week ago. So what we're doing now is uh, we do have guests today, but if you notice, the studio is barren. Mm. Uh, it's the first hour of the show. From here on, we're going to do videos and we're going to talk to you personally. <laughs> to avoid contact uh, with the Hillsborough County SWAT team. That, which was probably eventually that's, it that's which way yes it was yeah, it was right. you know for somebody who does literally yoga and meditation for a mm. living <laughs> she needs it what <laughs> what a hostile individual oh my god she, she always wanted to choke me and throw me against the wall and just <laughs> shake me like a rag doll I could tell I could see she, her she was and she had that womanly power of being able to pierce you with her eyes and cause you physical pain because mm. every man in the studio was uncomfortable that day. Uh, hell no, no furry like an angry black woman. Yeah, now there's actually a show. Uh, Medea, called angry, the Psychotic yeah, Ramblings of an Angry Black uh, Woman or di- something like that. Diaries of a Angry Black Woman. I believe it is, sir. And he is the leading authority on black women affairs. Uh, uh, brown. Brown woman brown affairs. Woman. I'm sorry, so yeah. nationally recognized. Jesus, my! God. Hey, look at that! The woodman, the woodman returns. What the cat would drag in? Yes, <laughs> yeah, woodcaster, master, woodcaster. master guitar maker. Uh, he has been on the show the last couple of weeks. Two freaking awesome, excellent. He's making a grand appearance. But shows he's making a grand appearance now. He's actually going to do a segment. Oh, I, I've been uh, as our resident technical guru. He is going to do a segment on the show every week where he will. Uh, be either interesting uh, introducing new guitars or he'll be discussing guitar technology and you will get an education on Lester's tour bus. Mm. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh Every my. Time. Oh my. Show that to the camera. That's Look. Like, that's like that Jell-O the pistachio the pudding. That <laughs> is the guitar of the week. It really... Number 0022 Woody Bird. Woody Bird. The and Woody Bird. Surf Green. Sea foam, as it were. Actually, it is sea foam green. You're exactly right. I Can you put that up in front of the camera and then? I mean, then just look at this guitar. It is absolutely stunning. Maple knobs, birch pick guard, birch uh, headstock thing. Yeah. Cavity cup. I mean, he just sits in the corner of their room and and builds things like this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. With a freaking, I'm getting ready to do an explorer and a V in this color too. Oh, so the man. Swiss Army knife. So they'll have they'll have one of all the crazy Gibson bodies. <laughs> you said you're doing you're awesome. doing the Gibson style V, right? Yeah, I'm going to do the Gibson V and the um, and the explorer in this color. Yeah, so that is a gorgeous guitar. Am I am I mistaken or is that an explorer right there? So this is a Firebird. Firebird. Woody Firebird. Woody Bird. Sorry, Woody Bird. Woody Bird, because I know Hatfield, Hatfield played the Explorer. I can't get a, a visual of what it looks like in my head. Is it similar to that, or am I losing uh, my damn mind? The Explorer comes is very angular. It's cut, comes to a point yes, yeah. straight down here, a serious point here, yeah. and has a um, hockey stick mm-hmm. headstock. Yeah. It's, uh, now I notice the tremolos on this guitar no there. This. I mean, I apologize. That's I noticed not a tremolo. I'm sorry. The humbuckers oh, on this guitar. Mini buckers. Mini yeah. buckers. Chrome mini buckers. buckers. Like on the SGs. Don't SGs well, have mini humbuckers? Some SGs do. Most the of older Firebirds ones. Firebirds come with mini humbuckers a lot. Yeah. And some some less Pauls come with mini. It's too damn cold. If it gets any colder, fix. I'm moving to Florida. <laughs> it is cold tonight. Dude, I left the house and I didn't put the thermals on and I went up to Zephyr Hills to gym with Chuck Riley and some folks up there at the Crystal Bar. Uh-huh. And that shit was like freezing out there. I'm like, damn, I got holes in my blue jeans. I went, nothing thermal. It's a horrible thing. Are you okay? I'm good. But there's but there's another flight case out in the guitar out in the car. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna take a break, a pause for the cause. Uh, we're looking forward to. We're actually setting up a link uh, here in the next week or so, uh, if if Takwad holds it together here, or uh, who is it? The IBO uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, Paradigm it's uh, a, con- Conglomerate. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to uh, go get this guitar. 
But we're also setting up a link, and he's going to, every week's going to showcase a new guitar and play a tune for us with his band from their, uh, from their studio, their rehearsal facility, or even live. So uh, we're looking forward to that, and I'll be right back with a new guitar. And this is Razor's Edge, Maggots and Flies. Blood's going straight in the twisted maze For days and days I've been feeling the rage I'm just going through some things It's hella pain Am I insane? Cause I want the blood to rain Me and half dead going to rock your fucking heads A couple screws loose Maybe we just need meds We through this by ourselves We don't have no real friends As I could be sick Worst reality bends Fuck down Blood to the right Everybody's dying in here tonight Pray to your God and close your eyes Killing all the maggots and we're killing all the flies Fuck down, left to the 
as you know, camera, all, you know. Okay. welcome back to Lester's tour bus. That was Seven <laughs> Kingdoms. Uh, they actually just left uh, <gasps> Monday, and they're in, I believe, Germany right now. If that is correct, Seven uh, Kingdoms John kicks is in ass. There. And and just what a really a great bunch of people. I mean, Camden Cruz right there. You can see just a you know, incredible, fantastic guitarist. But Sabrina's been posting on uh, on Facebook the last few days, and she's just so stoked and so excited to be going over there. And I mean, they're just the uh, the night nicest, just cutest people, you know. And I, I could not be happier uh, for all of their success and that they're over there having a good time right now. And hopefully uh, we will be able to get them on the show. Uh, they opened for uh, Queensryche this past weekend, uh, the show that I went to, to see them. And they were incredible as always there. Yeah. Anyhow, so what's going on now there, Iron Bear? Our listeners are calling for us to burn the studio down, rape and pillage. Rape and pillage. Yeah. And starting, I, I'm looking around at my options with, to rape, and yeah. uh, I'm telling you. Starting the with Nolan Ray, they say here. <laughs> wow. They're after Nolan. On the way yeah. in, you know, he said that it's just it's just a, a bit of restructuring going on. Uh, I said, you know, they say the same thing when you go to prison. That's what they said at Lehman Brothers. <laughs> it's a little yeah. bit of restructuring. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you've been restructured. I feel in freshly. Yeah. I feel freshly restructured. No, yeah. actually, I've never been there, but I do feel freshly restructured right now. Never, it was his alter ego that was there. No, I've never been. It was one of the voices. I've been to the gray there. bar, but I've Where never been up the, up the creek him. without a paddle. Ah, gotcha. Now, who's this loitering in the corner again? Oh, Woody Woodcaster from Woody Woodcaster Guitars and those. the band Woody and the Woodcasters. He felt like he was being Woody the Wood Tones. Woody, Woody I the, stand erected for the fifteenth time. By the way, yeah, he keeps you know, calling you Woody that's, and that's the Woodcasters. That's my segue. And now I'm standing erected. Got Wood? Of course always, he does. I always bring stuff for the guitar players. Well, tonight I brought the bass caster. We wouldn't want to be prejudiced. No, we wouldn't want to be prejudiced. Uh, four strings, no waiting. <laughs> you know, a beautiful sip on, sip on mahogany body with a spalted maple top, rosewood and um, and uh, pearl inlays, individual string saddles. Here. And a, uh, highly Point one of these. I had a girl with pearl inlays and individual string saddles. There you go up there because I'm not so sure. It's the yellow guy. Oh, there we go. Now it's we can the hear you. Guy. You might want to go over that again. They call me oh. Mellow Yellow. Okay. Ooh. Because our, right, right. Uh, our, our bass viewers. caster, um, for those of you who like to play an octave lower than your guitar player, um, <laughs> Sippo Mahogany back, Spalted Maple Top, California Olive Wood Pickups. Uh, rosewood knobs with inlaid uh, ivory, individual string saddles, and a um, highly figured rosewood uh, fretboard. Uh, and the camera does this guitar no justice at all. This thing looks like it looks like a piece of alabaster, actually. Yeah. An incredible guitar. I mean, just this, uh, it, exactly what Iron Bear just said. It does it no justice. No, this this bass guitar is stunningly. Beautiful. And of Fantastic course, it comes colors. in a custom wooden aluminum locking case. Well, it's why wouldn't it? Without saying, you can't just buy a case and slap one of your guitars in it. And... Nah. Listen, <clears> so <throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna load these up and get on out of here and download a couple of tunes that we did at the Crystal Bar this evening with the Woody Bird. Uh -huh. And I'll I'll call you up and send you yeah. all the links so you can. Yeah. So we yeah. got quick wood tonight. That's right, fast wood. Quick fast wood. wood. Been, he's got to go we've play. Been, we've been, yeah. He's in high he's demand a, he's tonight. He's in, so. in high demand. But gosh, I appreciate you coming over here and you know, uh, showing us your uh, your uh, your rosewood knob. Well, Casting the wood, as it were. Um, <laughs> next week, I'm thinking of bringing the mocking wood. Mocking wood. <laughs> it's, a, it's a completely. It's a completely. Not to be confused with a wood mocker. No. It, no. Uh -uh. And it's uh it's basically the it's basically our version of a BC Rich Mockingbird. Oh. And it's got some really cool things in the uh, tone controls where you can pull them and make the humbucker single coils, and so you got Ooh. everything from a Tele to a to a Les Paul in one. Yes. So it's insane. Sounds insane. And we'll see if I can't. Get Are you gonna put the widow stock head on it? Huh? The widow stock. The widow stock head. Uh, that's a warlock, though, isn't it? Yeah, from BC Rich. Yeah, no, yeah. we did the regular BC Rich top on it. I don't know. Is the widow stock uh, is that exclusive to the warlock? Yeah, they got two or three different headstocks on those. Uh, yeah. 
It depends on how evil and nasty you want to get, brother. Well, yeah. That's all. Speaking of headstock, I bought some headstock with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some horny little bastards, too. Yeah, huh? some little bastards, you know. Went out hunting with the boys. There you go. There it goes. Well, cool. What are we talking about now? Huh? He was talking about having these horny little guys here on the desk. Oh, I see. Yeah. So oh, I don't get, since we can't get a new desk, I figured I'd bring a bunch of dead heads in. <laughs> and I figured maybe uh, there are decapitated somebody, animals. Maybe somebody my, uh, would get the uh, yeah. maybe somebody would get the hint. <laughs> That's a goat, I assume. Uh, that, huh? That's a goat. Yeah. I didn't ask. What did you do to that goat? Huh? What did you do to that goat? Uh, yeah, I goat. refused to uh, answer that on the ground. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I take the fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Oh. I'll fire you off a couple of, couple of tins. We're going to miss you. I think we have a video of yours. I don't know no, where no, it is. No, I was going to send you I was gonna send you. We'll send them, them to me. Are we going to get them tonight? Yeah. Really? I'll okay. go home, download them, put them on the YouTube, and send you You better down. make it quick. Do it. Yeah. Do yeah. it. Send, send uh... Send Barry a text message. Let us know we're there with this the YouTube link, and then we'll. I will. Take it is, no man. Give me phone number. I'll give you a call. It I does. What do you want to do you now? Skype it in. Let's let's. Uh, we already did a mandatory murder fly. We started we the show with do, that. Well, well we, we started start the show with, with it, but we can probably. But let's uh, let's switch it up a little bit. Um, you you want to really what? switch it up? Yeah, let's do it. You want to? Uh, I have a hold on. Here we go. I just like this video. Uh, this is a Florida musician, a local guy. This is Calypso Music. This is also a uh, nationally touring act. If you get a chance, this is one of uh, my better shows early on uh, when it was just me. Uh, this is a uh, Van Mammy. Good time to pay Calypso Music. They say you could wind your body in Trinity Land. You looking so sexy, shaking up your waist. Have all the men out there hoping for a taste. Mommy. Ay, 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 mommy. Mommy. Well, that is bacchanal. Mommy. Have me going crazy. Mommy. Go ahead and shake up that body. Pass through the islands, end up in San Juan. The sexy bonita looking for fun. Como se llama usted? Hey, mami. Me llamo Margarita. Ay, papi. Mami. Erika, te ves, mami. Mami. Me encanta tu cuerpo, mami. Mami. Es muy caliente, nina. Mami. Que si era tinete, mami. Mami. Bacana. Muy caliente, español. Mami. Y caliente, mami. Fly over the ocean if you see ways in motion. I'm having a time. I'm not feeling fine. Sexy, do lie Lost in the chatting. Roll up the tassa, mami. She and she nani. Mami. Ay, 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 mami. Mami. Shut me back and out. Betty got back. Mommy. That's a fuck with all of that. Mommy. Ay, 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 mommy. 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 Mi casa su casa, mommy. Mommy. Ay, ay, ay. Mommy. Me gusta mucho, mommy. Mommy. Oy, 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 mommy.
love that's once with me It's all died and have to see With hell's nightmares you can hear me scream Be strong my friend It is all a sick dream Tragedy has come to me Trying to escape my reality Life goes on in a hazy way Surprise me now and tell me I'm insane Tragedy has come to me Trying to escape my reality
Daddy! Dude, this is you freaking dragon. I... Dude, this is your fucking friend, man. I love pussy. <laughs> I'm not touching him. I think he peed himself. Look, there's fucking ants. Ants? Fucking, where the no, fuck look, did the ants look, come right from? There. Oh, look, my right God. Yeah. Where, where, where are the fucking ants coming from? You know, oh, my God. I think he's I think the reference you should have heard Woo! Woo! it! Rose! Centuries, I'll get right. One of these centuries. Woo! <sighs> Damn. Yeah. I, I'm feeling like I'm fucked up. <laughs> Doctor, feel good. So how the hell are you? Where's that bear fella? Yeah, I'm coming. He's right there. You know what? He's over there running the camera because he thinks that's a. Uh... Oh. It's a special celebration. I'm celebrating. Wonderful. Did you leave me for dealing with, uh, yeah. uh, Of course. The Honorable Reverend Red Haze Fog Hat. Red. That bastard, I'm his twin brother. <laughs> he just looks and tries to steal my hat. So, so then who are you? Well, we're twins. It's hard to tell, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of like space twins. You know, I'm celebrating a special thing here, Lester. My bottle of whiskey just had a baby. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Junior! <laughs> and Jim Beam, and this is little Jay. Well, what? That bitch been cheating on him. This is Crow. <laughs> Old crow been fucking Jim's wife, that bitch. That's a bastard child. You see the evidence? I was just born today. Jim, I'm sorry. We got a little making up to do that. 
I'm cheating on you too. <laughs> Got to change her up. Got to get a little taste of Junior. Oh, talk to Daddy. Come on, come on, come on. I think you could literally light the air on here and in, in here on fire. I love you, Vito. Can you smell it? <laughs> Brought to you by IBO. Junior. IBO. <laughs> Worldwide. So what the hell is going that, on, fellas? Proud to bring you Red Haze Fog Hat. Well, I know last week I've been on a hiatus. I just got back from my new job. Well, it's my old job I returned to. Hard times, fellas, you know. My profession, I got to tell you, on lean times, I originally got to go back to, it's, my, it's a hobby, really, more than anything. My job is grave robbing. <laughs> well, see, they lock me up. That's what they call it. Now, why the hell is it, if you're an archaeologist and you dig up some old fella, Lester, it's 10,000 years old, that's okay. Now, what I'm trying to figure out, I go dig out somebody two weeks old and steal the rings and shit. Now, I'm a criminal. Where is the line? Is it two weeks, two months, two years, 20 years, 80 years between grave robbing and archaeology? Because I didn't <laughs> you know... know. I just figured, hey, if these fellas in National Graphic there can dig someone up, then why the hell can't I? Necrology. Now listen. Necrology. I've heard of that. That's right. Now, I've never taken you serious about anything, and to be perfectly honest, you frighten me in a lot of ways, but you actually make an excellent point there. That's right. That is something that had never occurred to me. Where is the line between grave robbing and archaeology? I'll be damned. You're a genius, sir. I would say it's beyond two weeks, though. That's the limit? Well, I don't know. I don't know what the limit is, but two weeks seems pretty fresh. I mean, you know, I would say at least the, the immediate family of the deceased should probably also be dead. By well, that's the what they told me. History <laughs> waits for no man. <laughs> they want their rings and shit back. Fuck them. <laughs> history waits for no man. We're making history here tonight, bitches. See, I want to go steal Jim Morrison and party with him where I feel, I feel cheated like I missed something. And that way... There's a lot of weirdos out there, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we I do. can sell his bones and shit. And, yeah. And then I think Jim would like that. I'd oh, like to, I'd buy a Jim Morrison bone. I'd like to ground up some oh. of them parts and snort them. You see, <laughs> freaky buzz, I bet you. That or Jimmy, I was at Jimmy Hendrix's grave in Seattle, and I was getting a contact buzz just standing there. Yep. So would you grind up some Jimi Hendrix bone and snort it? I was thinking about it. Now, it's interesting. I wonder if any sort of a residual um, uh, exploratory chemicals, uh, recreational chemicals would reside within the bone. Well, it already happened. Instead of purple haze, I'm red haze. (laughs) (laughs) Say, oh, yeah, yeah. I I felt like I could play guitar better just standing there. That electric twinger thing, you old black. I went by Bruce Lee's grave, and I felt like I'd do judo chop. Judo chop. My judo chops were better, too. Yeah. Yeah, It was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, If you noticed on the website uh, where he he had come onto the show before, and and when I posted the video, I wrote his name as Red Hayes, H-A-Y-E-S. It's actually H-A-Z-E, and the reason that I found out that the spelling was an error is because he sent people to my house. (laughs) To kick my ass. Well. To, to to physically hurt me because I spelled his name wrong. That sounds like my twin brother. Yeah. He's got a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, what's bad is when I rob a grave, he robs me. It's like a double entendre. You know? <laughs> is the rob being robbed? What kind of a lower than a snake's belly would rob a grave robber? Now, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. Now, now, when you rob graves, what is it that exactly that uh, you're after? And how does one make a living doing such? Well, there's a real black market out there. Everything <laughs> from dinosaur bones. But my biggest problem, Lester, is my twin brother out there. He's usually picking and robbing the graves I'm choosing because we think alike because we're identical. Bastard. So he's my biggest competition. And a couple <laughs> weirdos. Out there doing that voodoo and Satan shit out there. I got to run them off with my shotgun now and then. I get my old double barrel Betsy and go, I'm going to blast you with both barrels. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> that sets them straight quick like old Betsy. They get a running. But uh, I'd say the biggest market out there would be between those what you'd call clean living yuppies, it's universities, 
that like them dinosaur bones, believe it or not. But I'm really just in it for the gold and the money and uh, whatever's left over that I like a buzzard, kind of like a vulture, that I can, anything I can find in that grave is mine. Gold, silver, guitars, I don't give a shit. I'll take it all. In fact, like I say, if it's the right person, just call me the body snatcher. <laughs> Jack the Ripper Jr. You know, I I got to admit, I've been sitting a couple times. I got there fresh like a day or two, and it was a real pretty thing. And, you know, I had to decide to draw the limit somewhere. Get behind me, Satan. I got to tell you, even after a day or two, you know, pussy, pussy. But I, I just, I, you know what? I just couldn't do it. But I thought about her. <laughs> She's a good looker there. But, you know, my I can't say about my twin now. I had my <laughs> notions. He'd been into that corn squeezing that night heavy. And he'd come home looking pretty happy, so I don't know. In fact, you know what's weird about Lester? That girl looked kind of happy. And I, I, I figured it out why she she was just playing possum. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I don't know, but she was smiling. Something wasn't right there between the two of them. Kind of weird, like. Weird, weird. You know what I'm saying? It's the smiling possum. Well, there's this the is what we've been reduced to. Let's Sm- now. Where do you draw the line? Well, way, way beyond that. When a woman, way, I'm miles, My, miles from that line. Now this is My, like sexology instead of uh, If I you're see. fucking a woman and she dies in the middle of it, again, I think this question has come up before. Now, when do you stop? After. <sighs> One minute, that's one hour. I mean, what if you don't know? Damn good question. What if she dies? Why are you fucking her? You're so drunk, you don't know till about an hour. The next, the next morning, you've been fucking her all night. Well, doing see, that's okay because you don't, you don't have that moment where you have to make a decision well, to finish up or, uh, you know, because at some point, I mean, if you're close and she dies and it's clear she's dead, <clears throat> she's not going to come alive. So you've got about, you know, a minute to go. Whatever. Do you continue on? Or do you not continue on? Or what percentage of guys, if nobody were able to find out, would go on ahead, finish up, and then call the cops? You've dated Pinellas County girls, right? What's the difference? Well, you got a point. Not much. How can you tell? <laughs> They're slightly better than Newport Richie. Not much, though. One will steal you, the other will rob you. What's, you know, half a dozen. I six. call it Newport Itchy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. The thing. <laughs> I just don't know. Lester's tour bus does not stand behind that statement in any way, shape, or fashion. Well, I do. One of my girlfriends used to do a lot of heroin, and a couple times I thought she was dead, and I was getting why the getting was good. <laughs> sure, she got cold, and the damn bitch woke up and she lived. I was hoping she died. I didn't like the bitch. I thought I could just take her MasterCard and go wild. She had a whole ounce of weed and some coke. I said, fuck her. Shit, she's doing me a favor. <laughs> but she, she lived through it, the horror. Daddy loves you. Well, I hear Even it. if Daddy don't, I got this is my backup. <laughs> it's it's you know it's uh it's kind of spelled over from Newport Itchy into uh into Port uh, Snitchy. So <laughs> Newport what? Snitchy. Newport Snitchy. I see. So Port you, Snitchy. You would think a bunch Newport of women with venereal diseases, uh, since we've generalized the entire female population of Newport Itchy as having venereal diseases. Just all be, well, you just said Newport no, Itchy. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Uh-huh. What do you mean by that? Newport could Itchy. Mean a, could mean a number of things. No, yeah, I, I, know I got means. the answer for I know what it means. means. Fungus among us. Have you ever <laughs> seen Walking Dead or Return of the Living Dead? If you live in Newport, Richie, if the plague happened overnight and turned everybody into zombies, you wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the training ground for the living dead. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Between the meth heads, the crack heads, the pill heads, the crazies, the nuts. Yeah. In fact, the zombies would start running. They'd pick the pace up. They'd be scared. It would fucking run them out. Yeah. I like the head heads. Well, I like getting You have to think about that a little bit. Head head? Yeah. If you're a crackhead, you like crack. If you're a head head. Oh, head head. Well, that depends, Lester. Now, have you ever seen one of them zombie movies? Now, let's say your girl's giving you a head. And all of a sudden, she gets bit, you know, and you know it, and she's in the middle. How long do you gamble before you wait for her to turn into a zombie? Do you let her finish the job, or do you risk getting your dick bit off and turn it into one yourself? Do you get to roll the dice? Well, let me tell you. Now, if you if you're talking about Walking Dead, there's actually a refractory period in which the uh, 
Uh, the normal brain signals die, and they're blue. But how long and is then that? there's maybe a minute yeah. of nothing, but she's dead. She's just not doing anything for you. That's ridiculous. And then at the uh, brain stem, you start seeing some electrical activity in red. And that's so where she's minute. turning into a zombie. No, she's dead for a minute. So from the time she's bitten, uh, it could be... A, I, 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 I've seen them after they've been bitten go on a day or two. So I think that you'd be fine finishing up with something like that. Well, she's there not she into a that's what so go ahead and finish up, but you don't want to keep doing it over and over again because eventually you will, uh, you, you, you know, you'll crap out. So. Well, as long as I cop a nut, that bitch be all right. If I don't cop a nut, I'm going to kick your fucking head in quick like. But I've, I've got to believe that once she's been bitten by a zombie, the state of your penis will be the least of her concerns at that point. You know what I mean? Well, you don't know me too good, do you? <laughs> I'm half French. No, I'll tell you what. <laughs> zombie or no zombie? The job's are getting finished like this one horse sucking my dick one time, Lester. And she had some gold teeth, and all of a sudden she starts screaming, You motherfucker! She swallowed them! <laughs> Her gold teeth! Why she is sucking my pecker? And she's all mad at me, and I'm like, Fuck you, you whore! Finish the job! I done paid you 20 bucks! She's all oh, again, she's missing her two gold front Puerto Rican teeth. And boy, she could suck like a monk of fucking monster, but I figured you'll get him tomorrow. Just put a strainer there in your toilet. Don't worry about it. Finish the job, you dumb bitch. All right, let's just tour bus audience. It is time to put the kids to bed. If you'd like to uh, <laughs> call in 813-639-8255, although I do not advise that the phone number is 813-639-8255. Uh, uh, we're here with uh, Red Haze Fog Hat. He is uh, offering advice on life and love and spiritual fulfillment. So uh, if you get an opportunity, give us a call. Tell your kids to call with any question, and the I'll kids. set them wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'll get them down the wrong path quick like. That's right. You can get rid of them little monsters quick. You know you want to. They're costing you money. One less mouth to feed. You can send them off to some government reform school. And you and your wife could spend all their inheritance going on cruises and getting fat. <laughs> That's what I do. Look, um, so uh, what were you doing before you had the uh, the calling? Well, Lester, how much life you got left in you? I'm not sure you, you can take it. I couldn't take it. Once upon a time, I was human. I know it's hard to believe. In my normal life, I used to run a porn store. That it, doesn't surprise me at it's all. It's about man. as normal as it gets. It, I used to have a long line of normal jobs like I was a carny at the tilt world at the fucking carnival fair. I was a street hustler, huckster, not the sexual kind. I was a thief, a liar, and a drunk. Well, still kind of am, <laughs> don't drunk. Boy. You were a drunk. Well, I still, I I'm holding imagine, on to I the I can't path. imagine that. Somewhere, Lester. You know. I got to hold on to my normal life. To the past. In fact, that reminds me I'm a little late. Let he without sin cast the first stone. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'll tell you what. Woo, daddy, crazy life. I uh, have done everything. I used to teach rednecks how to fight with oyster knives uh, in frog gigs at 20 paces we'd start. They were death matches before the UFC. Taught me everything you knew. I have frog not gig heard frog, frog gig. <laughs> I have not heard that term in decades. Frog gigging, which is something that people in Oklahoma actually do. The uh, you know did what? you notice, dude? Story, where are all? Hold on, oh, do you see style. the ants down there though? I got so old Florida style. Right. There's fight. more ants for you. Do you remember snorting ants when where? you freaking fell? No, no, no. I'm kidding. I listen, them? listen. Do you remember snorting ants when you came in today? Well, how they were fire ants, their choice, top shell. Now, if they were black ants, what goes I wrong? Got I got a question for you. I got a question for you. And now, what goes wrong in someone's life that they fall face first into a studio and then snort the ants off the floor? Well, where I come from, Lester, that's kind of normal. What do you mean, fall from <laughs> grace? That's uh, that's moving up in the world. I I scratch my way out of the piss and shit in the gutter to lower working class. Now, we're high. I'm doing the swell. That's right. Marilyn Manson, eat your heart out. <laughs> Taught him everything he knew. <laughs> Woo, Jimmy. So let me see. Could, could you go on ahead and give us a demonstration of you uh, uh, singing the dope show by Marilyn Manson? No, sir. 
Oh. I got to see. That's where I draw the line. Maybe next time you come? He's got the pipes on it. Let me, uh, let me, when you come. He just got an inspiration for me. Reverend, uh, Reverend Red in Marilyn Manson-esque dress. What do you think? Mm, let me give us uh, more liquor and drugs in me. And I'll come to a con- <coughs> conclusion with Mr. Manson there. Uh, I, when I get mad at him, I call him Marilyn Johansson. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I was partying at him one time uh, at a typo negative at Pantera concert before he was famous. That's right. Smoking dope with the motherfucker. Him and the spooky, spooky, the spooky kids. The spooky. <laughs> the spooky, <laughs> that's spooky. right. That's early on, but yeah. yeah, yeah he was They're spooky, all right. Creepy little fellers. Yeah. Spe- speaking of spooky, how did your little visit go to the uh, meditation class after last week's... Uh, you mean uh, Bigfoot? <laughs> daughter? Oh, daughter of Bigfoot? No, no, no. <laughs> I heard she had to de- her daddy be Bigfoot come in here but trying to get all up on you like Miss Mich- Oh Michelle Obama there. So she's part Bigfoot too, you know. Now it's her daddy was Bigfoot. Yep. Crazy like. Well so, so apparently it went well. Not good at all there, Barrister. <laughs> we had to duke it out. I had to fucking show her that I knew I've met third down from the Dalai Lama, Ren Poche, and I had to put some schooling on her about real Meditation, not none of this strip mall shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. It strip was like, mall meditation. That's I, right. I did not know that. It, I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, this is this is for real here. There's a uh, a very nice, lovely young lady who does a meditation class. And if you watched last week's show, you would have saw that she was uh, less than amused by the noise that we create while she's doing a meditation show. <laughs> Therefore, where she's trying to basically, she's fairly hostile and she's trying to get us, I guess, thrown out of the building. And uh, so we've been, uh, you know, uh, working with her and trying to find a middle ground. And uh, hopefully she's not watching the show because my guest just referred to her as Bigfoot. <laughs> so it'll be interesting this week as to uh, <laughs> what types of fresh conversations we may or may not she have. She accused me of having a breast milk habit. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Excuse me there. Uh, it was the uh, daughter of Bigfoot with rabies. I heard. <laughs> she, heard she got rabies. She needs a shot. She's a biter, I heard. So you got some rabies shots there, Bigfoot? Well, you clearly... No, I no, I don't have a rabies shot. No, uh, although, however, um, uh, you clearly know more about her than I do. I didn't realize that she was a biter, well. nor that she was related to... Any sort of large, mythical, ape-like creature. So well, She shit. scared the shiznick out of me. After you got to go take a few of them voodoo, uh, what is it, voodoo uh, meditation classes. See, you learn something. Mojo it? guru. She schooled me. Name yo ho ring yo Yep. See, you got to get school. Get your chakra on, as it were. That's right. <laughs> I got three. Well, now, what is chakra? Chakras are your supposed, your seven centers of your being, your, your, uh, your, they're your, whatever they do. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not a meditator. I'm a masturbator. Well, chakras to me are whenever I got a girl tied up in a porn and uh, I want to do something real kinky, we break out a magic wand. And we start, like, electrocuting her clit. <laughs> we unreleased one of her shockers right there to bitch. <laughs> start doing real kinky, freaky shit on her I nipples. I don't believe that's the same thing, Woo! man. Yeah, you got to get all up in there French style, shocking that thing. Got to release bear. something, but I doubt it's chakra. <laughs> she likes that shit, bear. She, that, that bitch kinky. She liked that shit. Oh, yeah. Watch you giving me head all kind of freaky like. Freaky style. Don't tell me you ain't ever handcuffed a bitch and... Put a nine volt battery on her clit. You ain't lived yet. Hell yeah. Long no, night of clitty fraud. I can say I've never done that. No. Well, see, so you got to create a circuit. You put one on your arm and one on hers, and then oh. you make the connection to love. I'm gonna make tell the, the truth, connection to love. I'm gonna tell the truth, Red. I don't really need any guidance it on how to do that. Makes the connection to love. That'll probably never gonna do. Well, you gotta try it. You ain't lived. It's shocking. <laughs> Keeps life interesting. We might have we might have a new show. Reverend Red Hayes's Love Line. Kink, the Kink Fest. Bring your batteries. Yeah. Well, I don't... <laughs> Car <like> batteries. <laughs> it's like when I met the third down from the Dalai Lama, Rinpo Che. I shut him down, the son of a bitch. I called him what I called him out. Scam artist. He was another one of them religious zealot freaks. If you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Being actually. a ring young P, uh, I do know what you mean. I'll give a shout out to uh, some young gal that sent this in from uh, from uh, Thailand. This is uh, genuine Thai Taiwan 
peat milk tonight. And uh, just delicious. Thank you. We love our Asian viewers. Uh, how you say, uh, bottoms up. Well, last time I was in Kathmandu, I got drunk off of fermented goats. Ah, <laughs> delicious. What a mean buzz that is. That, between that and camel milk, getting drunk on fermented camel juice and goat's milk. Oh, man. I tell you. You'd be, you'd be, I'd, be, I'd be spraying feta. It was I'm sorry, of, John. It's, this is his first night here. This is the impression that Lester's tour bus is leaving on the new engineer. Look at him in there. Look at him in there. He looks thoroughly entertained to me, like the masses. See, nobody wants to see Joe Sixpack. Fuck Joe Sixpack. They want to see freaks like me. And I'll deliver. Because God said it was my calling to bring out to you. Whoa, can you feel the love coming down? Can you feel it? Hallelujah. Whoa, praise me. Send me your money, your drugs, and your good-looking daughters. That's right. P.O. Box 3374. Holiday Florida. 34690. Or at GoofyGhost at Yahoo.com. I will take... Any sort of good dope, none of that Babbitt Mexican shit. Only the good ass and the good weed <laughs> and your good looking daughter. Yeah, at Goofy Ghost, Yahoo.com. Send me your question. I'll tell you what. What I'm doing today, I am here to promote. I have an event coming up just for you. Just for you. That's right. Just especially for you. For $1,000, I promise you, the best bands on planet in the year 2090. If you send $1,000 right now, I will reserve for you with one trillion dollar limit. There's only a trillion people going to be allowed in the year 2090. So you better get in now for it sells out. For $1,000 apiece, and there's a limit of a trillion, the best bands on earth, and I'll reserve you a spot right now. So trust me. <laughs> Goofy Ghost at Yahoo.com. And here's one of those fans. This is Space Brain Blue Ribbon. That's right. Let's just do this. Yeah. 
Now you can do it. Do it. <laughs> and we're back! There you go, and we're back. Uh, I, I know you had something to say. What do you got? What's that right there? I wanted to get this out of the way while we still have time. Uh, all of us here at Lester's Tour Bus would like to thank Marla Stone and 365 Live, Dana Walsh, uh, DEG uh, Entertainment, uh, and also plays with uh, American Fix, good friends of ours. Uh, great band. And Mike Cheney, great band. Uh, www.degentusa.com. Uh, and his number is 727-342-0349. A great guy. Dana uh, just does incredible work with bands video editing all that uh thanks to murderfly catalyst uh damon janai and all the guys in retribution uh chuck lanahan good friend great guy we got some news about that for the show we'll let you know later on uh eddie metal keffel hellraiser's ball thank you Edward. uh uh, Tim Shank, 16 Second Stair, Miguel Gonzalez, all the guys uh, with the tour coming up. Uh, Woody and the Woodcasters, of course, uh, for the guitars. Jay Bailey with Ashtray Art, Brooks Palmer and Dean Trapazzi, uh, Acid Imaging, and the Algae Man. Uh, Vince. Uh, uh, I've learned Bouvet. a lot about that since he's been on, too. Vince Bouvet. Maybe and, and, next uh, week we could talk about. Um, uh, biofuels from yeah. algae. Well, I don't want to get into that. it now because we don't have any time. But yeah. uh, uh, what very very smart people there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mechanism uh, and of course Angie with Den of Thieves. Uh, want to thank Nolan Ray here at the station. Psycho Tribe, uh, the Brass Mug, Heather, our friend there. Uh, Whiskey Willies, LA Hangout, Bourbon Street. Uh, special thanks to uh, the guys with Green Jello, and uh, what an incredible birthday. Thank you, guys. I had a time in my life, and thank you, Lester. Uh, the Scurvy, my godson, Neil. Mosquito Teeth, great show. The Abortion Twins, Bob Noxious with the Tampa Bay Hardcore, which we support. He's going to be on the show next week. Um, uh uh, Karen, you know who you are. Thank you. Uh, our, our new head office girl, Kathy Olick. Uh, and Lester's Monster Army of Metal Mischief and Mayhem. To all you out there to support us, we thank you. And uh, may God help us all. And our enemies will perish in flames! And I'd also like to mention, hopefully, what <clears throat> will become a, uh, a long and uh, a mutually beneficial relationship between us and our new engineer, uh, John. Uh, uh, bravo. Good bra job tonight. Bravo. He is doing a good job tonight. This is his first time ever. Uh, Best fluffer we ever had. Doing Smash. anything like this. He did learn from the master, Nolan himself, uh, the great Ooh. betrayer. Well, I got to really? rethink my whole tonight. opinion of this show. Oh, I, I didn't know you let that son of a bitch, crazy bastard, Vincent Pouvet on here. I might not come back. Yeah. Hey, keep away yeah. from that motherfucker. He's dangerous. He's crazy. a media whore, isn't he? Anyway, a oh, special thanks to Pretty Polly Parsons. What a great guy. We got to go by his house after the show last time. Uh, a comic genius. Comic and he's going to come on the show, a, a class act. And believe me, better not bring your kids when he's here. because no, And just a brilliant individual. Brilliant. We, I got to uh, you know speak to him uh, candidly worthy. about life and love and, and that sort of thing. And if just, you think I'm crazy, watch out. He taught me everything I damn near knew. That does Pretty not surprise me. Yeah, yeah, that that does not What's the difference between apple and a baby? You don't come on out before <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Pretty ball parts. Don't ever tell that joke he's on this show. Crazy. Wow. I actually felt vomit coming <laughs> up in the back of my throat. That's what he know it's good. No. Nobody should ever tell that joke, That's ever. Hopefully, anyways. Uh, I also want to mention that uh, mechanism, and I'm not exactly sure the date. If you go to their uh, page, uh, you can go to Lester's Tour Bus, and they connect to them through me. They're one of my likes, mechanism, M-E-K-A-N-I-S-M. Uh, they are going to be having a CD release party soon. Now, these events, especially for uh, uh, you know mechanism, that's one of, uh, you know, Lester's tour bus top bands, I guess, for, for lack of a better term. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've been uh, pimping for Mechanism literally since the show started. Uh, they're having a CD release party. This is something that you definitely want to go to. And then Mechanism will also be, uh, and Burning Fair Verona, all of these are bands that are continuously uh, mentioned in their videos played on, on Lester's tour bus show. They are going to be at the Murderfly 
a CD release party, which I believe is May 17th, but you can confirm all of this stuff online. Both of these events will be very, very large, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'll be at both of them, and we might be doing live broadcasts from them, so um, I will keep you uh, uh, informed as to what's going on as far as those two. Anyhow. You know, I got some weird news for you, Lester. Do it. I caught Bear there fucking that new assistant, Olit, in the ass! (laughs) What do you got to say there, Bear? You have no proof Is that you? That. You have no proof of that, sir. I don't know. I was I was high and drunk, but I thought it was you. It might not have been, but it sure looked like you. I didn't get none. She okay. is stunning. Where did you find her? She found us. Stunning. Nasty little bitch. <laughs> God well, I've bless those about Catholic school <clears throat> girls. Yeah. And, uh, spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. <laughs> <laughs> a little yes um zombies help since we got kind of a we got do we have time to run another video this we is do video i'm gonna i don't show. have a video i want to play i don't have a video for mechanism because they refuse to make me one uh hopefully when the new album comes out they'll do two three production videos so i can pimp them even more on the show uh, I am going to play one of their songs. You don't get to see any, uh, which is really unfortunate because uh, Mecha is definitely a very animated, very colorful uh, character. But this is Mechanism Bedlam. I think I'm turning into a zombie.
<laughs> it does me too. I th- I think I think she likes me. And we're back. Yeah, last time I saw them, I saw Mecca eyeballing me. She knows the goods. She gave her. me wood too. Eight one three six three nine eight two five five. Huh? Excuse me. Don't make fun of Mecca. Mecca. I feel the back of my hand getting warm just sitting right here. Don't Mecca me. <laughs> Think I'm turning into. Don't make me do it. I'm turning into a zombie, Lester. Is what I think. Turning into. Just like Scully over here, our little friend. Let me introduce you to our little friend Scully. His real name is Eric Schultz, by the way. (laughs) Say hello to my little friend. He used to be my friend, but we kind of, you know, went our separate ways. He went in the grave, and uh, (laughs) I kept partying. Yeah. But you notice the tattoo stuck with him even in death. And I, th- I appreciate you bringing me that I skull. Have no I idea really... what, t- what skull. Right. Well, Eric. Oh, Eric that, jeez. A... Now I can't. Yeah. Damn it. I... He's a good friend. But, yeah, I want to know that That's tattoo. That's not what I meant when I said I wanted a little head. Yeah. Well, you got to clarify with me, Bear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little you. fuzzy around the edges. I yeah, saw no... I came in well, with do you think uh, it, it could be your uh, alcohol problem that's well, causing the fuzziness around the head? The problem is, Lester, I don't have a 55-gallon drum. That's just a warm-up, and this is the emergency pod. <laughs> you just you just killed the baby. <laughs> Daddy's here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Woo! Humble pie. So, since you're not actually Red Haze and you're the twin brothers of Red Haze, do you also uh, do you have a your own independent church, or do you work with uh, your brother at at his church? Lester, I know you're not sharp like my cousin, my brother told you last time. I'm Red Haze. He is copying me. The son of a bitch taught him everything you know. See, we're twins. It's hard to tell. I know you're a little slow, but. He, whatever I do, he does. And people think whatever he does, I do. Sometimes we come betwixt each other terms. No. Whenever I've had a day where I partied too much and shot up too much, he covers for me nobody knows. And I do the same. He throws me a couple pounds of weed and hash and some mushrooms. And now and then I'll throw him some extra liquid wrench when I got him. And I'll cover for him and verse of ice him. Now, is it possible to just... Bear with me for a second. That in your uh, your drug fueled delusions, that it's just really you doing everything twice. Well, you know, now and then I wonder, like the Matrix, what's reality, and what's just in my visions and dreams. Uh, so that's within the realm of possibility. I can't discount her there. Uh, but as far as I know, <clears throat> from my last psychiatrist, and I didn't send up the Chattahoochee told me. She even believed there was two of us. In fact, she hoped to God there was two. Because I was home, you know, she, you know, if there was any more than two or less than two, she didn't know how to balance it. She was cooker and coca puffs at that time, so she was shooting salad. I think it was that ecstasy I gave her. Huh. Now, what does it mean when one shoots salad? Well, shooting salad is a term come about from the rave culture. As high as God, salad shooter, and you don't know what the fuck you're saying. You're just talking, and you could be saying, "I want fries with that." Wherever you go, uh, anything, and uh, that's shooting salad. It's like instead of being drunk talking shit. I, out bought, your... I bought this thing one time for making salad that was made by Tina, endorsed by Tina Turner. It was called the the, the, the Tina Turner Salad Shooter. Well, I don't know. That's if she a was long a time raver. ago, though. My, my ex-girlfriend used to shoot salad. Shooting salad, here's an example. She was sucking my dick one time, and all of a sudden she bit it. And I'm freaking out, hitting her in the head. Down, boy, down, you fucking bitch. And I go, what the hell's wrong with you? She goes, I was thinking about hot dogs. And I'm like, you crazy bitch. Relish the thought. Go, you know, bite a hot dog. Go bite my dick, you crazy whore. She was shooting salad on ecstasy. Didn't know where she was she, at or what she, she was. She must have been hungry. <laughs> well, it was mighty painful. But that's shooting salad. True story. True story. Not to be confused with tossing salad. No. Totally different sickness. <laughs> now, shooting salad basically is just uh, rambling on. Kind of like letting your mind wander like it usually does. So does that satisfy you? I think it does. Uh, 
Are, are you are you paying attention anymore? He's not twitchy. at all. You see that? He's over there. What do you yeah. think? You want to wrap this up and go get breakfast? Do I have anything else to say? Oh. You got anything to say? Where uh, uh, where can I uh, if I wanted to uh, send some uh, people to uh, to listen to a, a sermon? Where would I send them this week? Well, Will you, you knock it the hell off? <laughs> Two options. Uh, I finally irritated you. Goofy Ghost at Yahoo.com. Goofy Ghost. Or Red Haze Fog Hat at you, uh, Yahoo.com. Red Haze Fog Hat at Yahoo.com. Church of the Purple Squirrel Foundation.com. Or go Orange at, Squirrel. Look well, at Orange Squirrel. It's the Purple Snorkel. The Purple Snorkel from the Alien well, Protector. I forgot what the Purple could, Snorkel but meant. The, the, but another best the Alien Probe. Would be to go on YouTube and put in Wild Man Vince. He looks just like me and endorses me. Uh... And also, you could also go to Wild Man Vince on Facebook. But Wild Man Vince on YouTube or Red Ace Fog at Yahoo.com or Goofy Ghost at Yahoo.com. And I will try to reply. The message will get to me, especially at Red Ace Fog Hat.com. And any of the others or associates of mine and friends, buddy, you go to YouTube, put in Red Ace Fog Hat or Wild Man Vince, and you will see. Woo! I think we've got any gas. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We appreciate you watching this episode of Lester's Tour Bus. We want to uh, thank John and thank Nolan and everybody who helped uh, make the show happen tonight. And uh, uh, hopefully we see you again soon, Red. What do you think? Say your prayers and you might catch a glimpse of me. I want to thank Marilyn Manson, Eric Schultz, and Sherry James. Woo! Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. And so- Mick Jagger! All right, uh, we'll see you next week. We're off like a prom dress. Rolling fucking stones. <laughs> I fucking love this band. They are the best band ever. Period. Ladies and gentlemen.
What was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was another fine show from rockslamradio.com. Yeah.